This is a heartwarming tale of Emily from Charleston, USA, who faces a series of obstacles due to her skin color and financial condition. It takes a turn when a heartless manager at a posh restaurant treats her rudely. Emily is a picture of youthful resilience, courage, and hope cloaked in a fragile nine-year-old frame. Her sparkling brown eyes conceal untold stories of struggles, and her brave smile masks the hardships she has to face every day. Born and raised in the coastal city of Charleston, Emily lives with her grandparents in a modest home that barely stands against the weather's whim. Life, for her, is a constant fight for survival and dignity. Emily's life has been shadowed by an unspoken grief, the untimely demise of her mother under mysterious circumstances, and the bewildering disappearance of her father. Her mother's laughter and comforting words are now just distant memories, and her father remains an elusive figure. It's her doting grandparents who have assumed the role of parents, offering her a haven of love and support amid life's tumultuous storms. Even at her tender age, Emily understands the weight of financial struggles. The walls of their humble home echo with unvoiced concerns, and the scarcity often lurks in the corners of their tiny kitchen. Yet, Emily and her grandparents find their joy in the simple moments of togetherness, sharing stories under the dim light of a single bulb, laughing at old jokes, or just holding hands in silence. Emily's days are split between school and work a dichotomy that no child her age should have to endure. She wears out her worn-out school uniform with a sense of pride, eagerly absorbing the knowledge that school offers. Her little shoulders bear the weight of a school bag in the morning and a bag full of candies in the afternoon. She steps into the chaotic world of city buses to sell candies, her innocent voice lost in the clamor of the traffic and the chatter of the passengers. Her skin, the shade of warm cocoa, often becomes the target of ignorant mockery and baseless discrimination. The cruel world occasionally throws harsh words at her, trying to belittle her spirit. But Emily, the little warrior, remains unbroken. Each insult adds another layer of strength to her resolve. She picks herself up, dusts off the words of disdain, and holds her head high. In Emily, there exists a spirit that refuses to bow down to adversity, a spirit that sees hope and despair, and a spirit that finds strength in vulnerability. Every scar she carries is a medal of her courage, and every tear she sheds is a testament to her undying resilience. Emily, at her tender age, embodies the spirit of a soldier, marching forward, undeterred by the storms of life. Despite the rituals and tribulations she faces, Emily's story is not just about struggle, it's about resilience, about rising against the odds, about the undying spirit of hope. She carries an aura of quiet strength and courage, inspiring those around her to persevere against adversities. Emily's journey is a testament to the human spirit's invincibility, an ode to resilience and a ballad of enduring hope. Life, with its share of hardships, had never been easy for Emily, but witnessing her grandparents' deteriorating health brought an insurmountable challenge. Their once vibrant eyes now mirrored the pain of their frail bodies. The once loud laughter and shared stories now morphed into the silence of worry. Emily's heart ached, seeing them in this condition, and she felt a surge of desperation tinged with determination. Emily decided to do something more, something beyond selling candies on buses. It was her close friend, with a heart as kind as her own, who suggested a potential solution, collecting leftover food from luxury restaurants. This idea sounded promising to Emily. The mere thought of possibly bringing a substantial meal home for her grandparents brightened her spirit. On a crisp afternoon after school, Emily, donning her worn-out but clean clothes, set off towards one of the city's most lavish restaurants. She was slightly intimidated by the opulence that greeted her. The gleaming chandeliers, immaculate white tablecloths, and the rich aroma of gourmet cuisine. However, she swallowed her nervousness, steadied her trembling hands, and approached the stern-faced manager. The man, dressed in a sharp suit and a permanent scowl, seemed to possess an inherent disdain for anyone he deemed beneath him. As Emily made her humble request, 
her voice barely above a whisper, the manager's face contorted into an ugly sneer. He dismissed her with a wave of his manicured hand, his words sharp as daggers, slicing through her courage. The words, you don't belong here, your kind is not welcome, echoed in Emily's ears as the manager spewed contemptuous words at her. Emily stood frozen in shock, his venomous words stinging her heart. The color of her skin, something she had always worn with pride, had suddenly become a reason for scorn. Her heart pounded in her chest, and she could feel the prickle of tears threatening to spill from her eyes. Emily stood there, crushed under the weight of humiliation and hurt, her dreams shattered by the harsh reality. The grandeur of the restaurant seemed to mock her poverty, and the manager's cruel words rang in her ears, reminding her of the world's harshness. Yet in that moment of despair and humiliation, Emily did not allow herself to break. A hot tear slid down her cheek, but she didn't bow her head. She straightened her small frame, her brown eyes, sparkling with unshed tears, still held a flickering of defiance. In that luxurious restaurant filled with affluent diners, Emily stood out, not for her worn-out clothes, not for her cocoa-colored skin, but for her unyielding spirit and unwavering resilience. She walked out of the restaurant, but not in defeat. She was carrying a lesson, a painful yet valuable understanding of life's brutal realities. Emily's experience at the restaurant underscored the battles she had to fight daily, battles not just against poverty, but also against prejudices. Yet each battle only made her stronger, made her spirit brighter, despite the blows life dealt her. Emily remained an indomitable spirit, a beacon of strength and determination. Just as Emily began to feel the weight of her unfortunate encounter, she met an angel in disguise, a waitress from the same lavish restaurant. This young woman, who wore a comforting smile and compassionate eyes, approached Emily with a kindness that stood out in stark contrast to the manager's harsh demeanor. She was the first person in that establishment who did not look at Emily as if she were an alien, but as a fellow human being who needed help. This waitress, with her soft-spoken words and empathetic gaze, extended an offer to Emily, the promise of leftover food after the restaurant closed. The kind offer sparked a glimmer of hope in Emily's heart. It was an unexpected gesture of compassion that reaffirmed her belief in human kindness. Emily eagerly agreed, deciding to wait for the waitress. As time passed, she sat quietly in a secluded corner behind the restaurant, trying to make herself as inconspicuous as possible. But as the sky darkened, her hopes were once again shattered by the dreadful presence of the manager. The manager, with his characteristic scorn, discovered Emily waiting at the back of the restaurant. His eyes flashed with a disturbing delight as he saw Emily, his earlier display of cruelty apparently not enough. He approached her with a nasty grin and a bag full of garbage, which he tossed at her with a vicious satisfaction. Emily could only watch in horror as the garbage, a symbolic representation of her hopes, lay scattered around her. Emily, covered in the debris of the restaurant, was more than just physically violated. It was her dignity that was trampled upon. She felt a deep, humiliating pain as the manager's triumphant laughter echoed around her. His words, full of disdain, aimed to crush her spirit. I told you, you don't belong here. But amidst his humiliation, Emily did not break. Her spirit, though hurt, remained unbowed. Feeling utterly defeated, Emily trudged back home. As she walked under the dim street lights, with her clothes still dirty and her hands empty, she felt the harsh cold of despair creeping into her heart. The pain in her heart was more potent than the physical discomfort. It was the pain of rejection, of humiliation, and of unfulfilled promises. Every step towards home felt heavy, her heart aching more with each passing moment. As she reached her humble dwelling, Emily broke down, letting her tears flow freely. The image of her grandparents' hopeful faces stung her heart. She felt as if she had let them down. The taste of failure was bitter, and she could not help but wonder if her efforts were in vain. This day ended in despair for Emily, her heart heavy with a sorrow that far exceeded her years. But even as she shed tears of despair, 
Her spirit remained undefeated. She held on to the kindness shown by the waitress, allowing it to soothe her wounded heart. It served as a reminder that there was still goodness in the world, and it fueled her resolve to keep fighting, no matter how hard the journey. Emily, still reeling from the terrible encounter at the restaurant, was barely aware of her surroundings. Her mind was absorbed in a whirlwind of humiliation and failure, so much so that she didn't notice the luxury car racing towards her until the very last moment. The screeching brakes and blaring horn startled her, and she found herself staring into the headlights of a fast-approaching car. The car came to a halt just in time, sparing Emily from another tragic moment. From the vehicle emerged a man, Ryan, whose face bore an expression of deep concern. He quickly rushed over to Emily, his eyes scanning for her any injuries. Emily, taken aback by the sudden incident, just stood there, staring blankly at him. Seeing her covered in filth, Ryan mistakenly attributed the dirt to the near accident, feeling a surge of guilt. Insisting on making amends for the near accident, Ryan offered to take Emily home. Despite her initial apprehension, the kindness in Ryan's voice and his genuine concern convinced Emily to accept his offer. The ride to her home was mostly silent, with Emily still unable to shake off the events of the day. Ryan, on the other hand, found himself increasingly curious about Emily, her life, and her circumstances. Upon reaching Emily's humble home, Ryan was taken aback. The dilapidated shanty house, the signs of acute poverty, and the frail forms of Emily's grandparents awaiting her return stirred a profound sadness in him. Stepping out of his comfort zone, he accompanied Emily into her house, where he was met with a pair of familiar faces. Looking at Emily's grandparents, a rush of recognition flooded Ryan. He remembered them from his past, from a time when his life was different. When confronted with the truth, the reality hit him like a ton of bricks. Emily was his daughter, the child he never knew existed. Ryan was dumbstruck, his heart hammering in his chest as he gazed at Emily. The realization that he had left her mother unaware of her pregnancy filled him with guilt and regret. He found himself looking at Emily not just as a little girl in need, but as his own flesh and blood. It was a connection that sent waves of mixed emotions through him. Witnessing the harsh reality of his daughter's life, Ryan felt a powerful surge of responsibility and love. His long-lost daughter had been living a life of hardship, one he could have prevented had he known about her existence. This discovery wasn't just a revelation, it was a wake-up call. In the tiny, threadbare home, amidst the pain and despair, there was a moment of profound realization for Ryan. His little girl, who had endured so much at such a young age, was a symbol of resilience and courage. As he embraced Emily, he felt an indomitable resolve forming within him. It was time to make amends and protect his daughter from the harsh world she had been fighting alone. In the dimly lit room of their humble abode, Ryan found himself grappling with overwhelming emotions. Staring at Emily, his heart swelled with a bittersweet amalgamation of remorse and joy, he extended his hand, gently resting it on Emily's shoulder and with newfound resolve shining in his eyes, he acknowledged Emily as his daughter. He thanked her grandparents earnestly for their selfless care, promising to lend his support and do right by Emily and them. The next day broke with an unexpected warmth, a promise of better times ahead. Ryan returned to Emily's home, this time to take her to a place she had been before, but under drastically different circumstances, his restaurant. The irony wasn't lost on Emily. The same place that was a symbol of her humiliation was now about to become a place of redemption. Upon entering the restaurant, Emily clung to Ryan's hand, the past mockery and discrimination resonating in her mind. Ryan, aware of the unjust suffering his daughter had faced here, decided to set things right. He sought out the manager, whose bitter behavior had once tormented Emily. With a firm and resolute voice, Ryan dismissed him from his degrading actions. In his place, he promoted the kind-hearted waitress 
who had once offered Emily compassion amidst the scorn. The waitress, surprised and elated by this turn of events, was more than willing to fill the void left by her callous predecessor. Ryan's actions sent a clear message to his employees and restored Emily's dignity, marking the beginning of a new era in the restaurant. Emily's life underwent a remarkable transformation. The days of selling candies and collecting leftovers were replaced with an affectionate father-daughter bond. Emily reveled in the Ryan's love and care, finding a sense of security she had yearned for. Her spirit, once beaten down by adversity, began to flourish, mirroring the newfound happiness in her life. At the same time, Emily's grandparents, too, experienced a profound change. The promised support from Ryan brought relief to their weary faces. Their struggle to provide for Emily, while battling age and poverty, was finally eased. They found themselves treated with respect and kindness, a stark contrast to their previous hardship. The story of Emily, her grandparents, and Ryan thus concludes on a hopeful note. It paints a vivid picture of life's unpredictable nature and its capacity to bring unexpected twists. It's a tale of endurance, redemption, and unexpected reunions. It reminds us that every dark cloud has a silver lining, and often it's in the most unexpected circumstances that we find our destinies intertwined. Through all the trials and tribulations, Emily's story is a testament to the human spirit's resilience, proving that love and kindness can bring light into the darkest corners of life.